Stop scrolling. I am gonna teach you in this video why law of assumption, notice I said assumption, will always trump the law of attraction in each and every single situation. Pause, like, share the video, put your friends on game. We're about to get into it. The law of assumption by definition of what it is, is a meaning of manifesting desires by having a state of mind and the feeling that those desires, wishes, and aspirations have been fulfilled. So the law of assumption is a way to create anything you desire by assuming the feeling of your wish having already been fulfilled. This is because outside, according to the universal law, nothing exists outside of your own consciousness. So you can create an entire experience based on where your consciousness is sitting currently. For those of you who need that in layman's terms, what you assume to be true regarding yourself, regarding love, regarding money, regarding success is what is going to be reflected to you in your reality. This is called the mirror principle. We have actual scientists proving the fact in the observer theory that you can actually focus something into existence, something you cannot do in law of attraction. I got stuck in law of attraction for years and I'm gonna give you your survival guide of how to get out of it and actually get results. Because you do not have to meet your person in another lifetime. You do not have to release it to the universe and wait for God to bring it back to you. You cannot not have your person because of bad karma or magic or spells or anything else. The reason why law of assumption always wins over law of attraction is because it is the only thing that is actual scientific law that can get you results. Law of attraction needs to be able to create little outlets and excuses for why you can't have your person the way that you want. Mirroring it as a twin flame journey, uh, karmics, this, that, the whole nine yards. Law of assumption doesn't tell you any of that. Law of assumption says you can have your person the way you want. You can have that money in the bank and that there is no such thing as free will or karma. Something we're able to prove as scientists. That is because according to quantum physics, every parallel reality has infinite possibilities. So there's a possibility where you and your person never meet, a possibility where you and them hate each other's guts, and a possibility where you and them are head over heels in love head over heels in love with each other and everywhere in between. They are all existing in the present moment. It depends on where you focus your attention to show you how the observer theory actually works, where you can focus something into existence. That means stop humoring your old shitty beliefs about how men leave. This person's never going to be with me. They're not going to change. Oh, if he wanted to, he would. No, if you assumed better, he would. I literally have hundreds of success stories all over my page. Blow this up to the law of attraction community. Come over here so I can teach you the right way.